Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about how we can uh, scaffold or reverse engineer an existing database using Entity Framework Core. Basically, what we are going to achieve is we are going to convert a database first approach to a code first approach. Most legacy projects are using database first approach and in the modern era we are usually working with entity framework code first because uh, for a developer it's much much easier to change the database inside c sharp code and see the results in database so there are many reasons that you are going to do this and change the approach from database to code first uh, probably you have your own ideas or reasons for that in this video, we are going to take a walkthrough and see how it works. So I have my Visual Studio open in here. Obviously, you can use VS Code or other IDs to make this happen. But uh, for me, it's easier to use a Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new ASP.NET Core Web application but you can do this inside a class library or a console application or a windows form and there is no difference so i go next and let's create a demo project my adventure demo i have an existing database it is uh, the adventure works demo database that I have downloaded from Microsoft website and I'm going to add it to an and to a new uh, ace.net core project and I'm going to use empty template and we don't need HTTPS at the moment but I'm going to leave it there and so let's create a project so I have a sample database called adventure works you can download it from Microsoft website uh, it has a few additions uh, for different types of work that you might want to do uh, but uh, for this demo we just want to uh, convert uh, this database and reverse engineer it to a code first DB context using entity framework so the first thing that you need to do is to add the necessary packages to your project to do that i go to manage new get package and let's browse and find entity framework i am using include pre-releases because uh, i want to install the pre-release version of into the framework core 5 and uh, which is rc2 at the moment in a few days uh, i think tomorrow uh, it's going to be dotnet conf and the final version is going to be released uh, but uh, at the moment rc2 is all i have uh, so let's install that package i don't expect anything to change uh, and everything that I'm currently doing in this project worked in Entity Framework 2, working in Entity Framework 3, and uh, obviously it's going to work on uh, Entity Framework 5. Other than Entity Framework itself, we do need the tools, and this package is also necessary, so I installed that one too. And um, we also uh, are going to work with entity um, Microsoft SQL Server so we need a provider for that and uh, we need Microsoft Entity Framework Core dot SQL Server package and I'm going to install that too so I have all the necessary package installed and next I am going to use package manager console if you don't see the, this window, you can go to Tools, New Get Package Manager, and Package Manager Console. 
and activate this window so now I am going to use a scaffold DB context and next you are going to need the connection string to your database which is in my case this address and next you are going to specify the provider that you are going to use to do the reverse engineering uh, there are a couple of providers uh, engineered by Microsoft uh, like Microsoft SQL Server Provider, SQLite Provider, and I think there is one for MySQL. And uh, there are a lot of uh, providers for other databases, but they are mostly engineered and developed by uh, the third parties, not uh, necessarily Microsoft. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. For Microsoft SQL Server, there's no problem. You have the uh, provider and the package and developed by Microsoft uh, engineering team. So uh, let's go to the provider and I'm going to paste it in here. Uh, and I add a space. So next thing we are going to, you, to do is to uh, specify the folder that our classes are going to be generated in so I use context directory or context.dir to specify the folder that I want my DB context in and that is data and uh, we are going to specify a folder for uh, and models for database tables uh, that are going to be converted to uh, C-sharp classes usually we call them models and to specify the folder for that I'm going to use output directory and call that folder models and next uh, we need to specify the name of our DB context so I do that with using dash context and last but not least uh, we need to specify exactly what is going to be our DB context name and, and in this case it's adventure works DB context and now if I hit enter uh, I expect to see uh, the results in my project so let's go ahead and do the scaffolding so I had an instance failure let's go back and see what went wrong I think I don't need a double uh, back slashes here let's remove that and hit enter again so I get the result if I go back to my source code you can see that there is a data folder and there's an adventure works DB context in here and all the tables in my database are showing up here and at the same time we have the classes separated in different folder called models and it is all set up and ready to use now everything that you usually do in a code first design is happening right in here as you can see i get a couple of warnings here it's a good idea to copy all of these the text file and read them one by one and make sure everything is all right usually there are not going to be any problems and most of the warnings in here is about there's a some feature there's a feature in a SQL server that cannot be mapped directly to 
the good first approach. Sometimes it's because of the way entity framework works, and sometimes it's because of the features that is in SQL Server, and sometimes it's because of the relationships that your tables have with each other. Um, and I am well, for the most part it is going to be okay uh, because code first uh, does not have to be a, an exact replica of your database it's never been like that it's never going to be like that it's going to help you with your development process but obviously there are some features and some uh, co customizations that you need to do on your SQL Server anyway. Uh, so uh, with that being said, uh, let's go on and use the data uh, we just created uh, and uh, do some querying and, and see how we can use the Adventure WorksDB context in uh, the ASP.NET Core project. So if I go to Adventure Works DB context, your connection string is going to be right in modeling, model creating method in here. And it is uh, getting a, a warning to uh, about connection string and its security issues that you might have because there's going to be username password if you are using a um, different authentication method, but I'm using a local in locally installed SQL Server and using the Windows authentication. So this warning is not for me, at least. Uh, your own in your own projects, you are not going to use a uh, connection string inside uh, your C sharp code. It's a good idea to put it in app settings.json and that is uh, what we are going to do uh, later in this video uh, but for now let's go to our startup and inject the db context to our services so later we could use this in a controller or a resource page and work with data i'm using add DB context and using adventure uh, adventure works DB context and, and now I can create a controller I'm going to create an API and work with some data so the server is running and if I go to API customer I get the results for 10 customers. I am using this JSON view to prettify the JSON view and it's easy to read the data in this way. There's not much in here, uh, but the important fact is our DB context is working and now we can query data or maybe uh, update the data, save changes, uh, and do anything that we usually do in an, any web, web, uh, web application. So the last change I want to make is to uh, remove this connection string from unconfiguring. Basically, I want to get rid of all this unconfiguring method altogether and save the changes. And I want to put the connection string in my app settings.json file. I'm using connection strings key. And here I'm using a default connection. And let's um, just like this. Let's save the change. And let's go to our startup. So let's inject the configuration system to a startup file. To do that, let's add a private with only I configuration and configuration. And let's 
do this like this and add the generate the constructor like this so um let's do this like this and i'm gonna rename it and make sure it works like this now i can use configuration inside my configure services and work with app settings.json let's go to add db context and go to options and here i want to use options and use sql server and go to configuration get connection string and the connection string that i'm looking for is default connection and let's save everything and let's run the project so when i run the project i get an error which is telling me that the json reader has some problem reading the json app setting file and uh, i have back and check how it works in here we have a couple of problems i have to remove this part and add a comma in here so i saved everything and run the project again this time i expect to see the results my application is up and running if i refresh i get back the data it is showing that the connection is string is working and we are connecting to the database so I showed you how to remove the connection string from your source code and put it in apps in the JSON, which is usually what you want to do. This way you don't have to recompile your project every time you change your connection string, which we tend to do a lot in a web development environment. So that's it for today. I explained how you can uh, scaffold or reverse engineer an existing database. I added the necessary packages. I injected the DB context and used it in the controller. And at the end, I changed the way uh, the generated code works with connection string and I used the better approach. Um, that's it. And thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.